Good morning, family. This is um, the additional reading that I wanted to do for July 18th. The title of it is Self-Pity is a Slimy Bottomless Pit. Amen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your love and all the comments. And um, I pray that we're growing together in the grace of God. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for being, staying active. Thank you for those who are praying at 12 o'clock. Thank you for those who are praying at midnight. And thank you for those who just think about this channel and pray throughout the day. Our prayers are making a difference in the lives of the individuals that we're praying for. And not only that, they are strengthening us. Sometimes God takes our mind off of our own situations and circumstances and um and our being busy with that then you know the lord he works in our own situation so i just want to share that with you all and um bless the name of the lord amen thank you abba father amen okay jesus i mean self-pity is a slimy bottomless pit the little book jesus calling self-pity is a slimy bottomless pit once you fall in you tend to go deeper and deeper into the mire as you slide down those slippery walls you are well on your way to depression and the darkness is profound your only hope is to look up and see the light of my presence shining down on you. Though the light looks dim from your perspective, deep in the pit, those rays of hope can reach you at any depth. Amen. While you focus on me and trust, you rise ever so slowly out of the abyss of despair. Finally, you can reach up and grasp my hand. I will pull you out into the light again. I will gently cleanse you, washing off the clinging mire. I will cover you with my righteousness and walk with you down the path of life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is Psalm 40, verses 2 and 3 from the Old Testament, and it reads, he lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Amen. Many will see in fear and put their trust in the Lord. Amen. Our second scripture, again, from the book of Psalms, Psalm 42, verse 5, and it reads, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise him, for I shall again praise him for the help of his presence. Amen. And lastly, Psalm 147, verse 11 reads, The Lord delights in him. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Amen. Self-pity is a slimy, bottomless pit, family. I've been there. I'm quite sure some of you have been there. And the Lord raised me up and lifted me out when I surrendered. And what I had to surrender um, was stop fighting. Lifting my head up and asking God to help me. That's where my reading, uh, well, my personal uh, testimony from... Um, it's titled, mm, it just left my mind blank. Oh, Prayers on Layaway. That um, 
testimony that I gave, it was several months ago, prayers on layaway. Um, that's what this reminded me of, because surely I was there. But it was my prayers on layaway that lifted me up and brought me out because I really couldn't pray for myself. But you're going to have to go back and listen to prayers on layaway. I'm not going to read um, repeat it here. I'm trying to be more mindful of my longevity <laughs> in the readings when I'm here. Blessing and healing, family. This is Miss Norma. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. And this is going to be our second reading for uh, July the 18th. Um, and it's called, it's just going to be titled Second Reading Self Pity is a slimy bottomless pit. Amen. Thank you, family. Thank you for your time with our prayer warriors. Thank you all for being here. Oh, and I have to add on, I believe his name is Steve and Deborah. I met a brother in the Lord today. And, um, you know, God always let his people know each other. And, um, we were passing each other um, in a parking garage, and um, he said something, and he said, have a blessed day, my sister. And I said, you too, my brother. And I said, you know, it's amazing how the Lord um, lets his children know each other. And so um, as we were parting company, um, I had shared with him that I had my YouTube channel here, and so he said, pray for me. I told him we had prayer warriors. And, you know, I welcomed him to um, um, be a prayer warrior. And so he says, well, pray for me. So I said, well, anything specific. And he said, um, pray for his um, restoration and healing in his life. And um, to pray for him and his wife, Deborah. So please remember... Um, I believe he said Steve, and uh, S Steve and Deborah, and he's asking for, he's thankful to God for restoration in his life, and he's praying for reconciliation. That's what it was, restoration in his life and reconciliation um, um, in his home. So we've added Steve to the prayer list. And so have a good evening, everyone. Good morning, brother. I'm blessing and healing to all our land. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you, family, but Jesus Christ loves you the best and the most. And it is truly the greatest love for each and every one of us. Amen.